So a lead code practice question. So in this question, I'm going in this video, I'm going to cover uh, the question called number of valid words for each puzzle. So I'm going to explain the solution and explain this piece of code. And also at the same time, I'm going to cover the procedure we should follow in the real code interview. So let's get started. So remember in the real code interview, the first step is always try to understand the question. And uh, if you have any question to ask, please bring up the question, don't be shy. And also at the same time, think about some edge cases. So let's see this question. So with respect to a given puzzle string, a word is valid if both the following conditions are satisfied. So word contains the first letter of puzzle and for each word in, for each letter in the word, that letter is in the puzzle. So for example, if the puzzle is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then the valid word are fist, cabbage, etc. Well, invalid words are B fed. So this one it is invalid. That is because it doesn't include the A, which is the first letter of the puzzle. And uh, for example, best, it is invalid. That is because S is not in the puzzle. So S in the word, but it's not in the puzzle, which doesn't satisfy the second condition. So return an array of answer where answer i is the number of the words in the given wordless words that are valid with respect to the puzzle puzzle i. So let's see the uh, this um, input. So we have a list of the words, we have the list of the puzzle. We want to find how many words within the words array that could match the two loop condition for each of the puzzle. So for example, for puzzle for puzzle one, there is only one matched word for the two for the two conditions above. So let's see the constraints. So it says that uh, the words array is not going to be empty, and the words length is between four and uh, fifty, and uh, the puzzle is not going to be empty, and also the puzzle the length is equal to seven. So the pu so each puzzle has a fixed length which is seven. And uh, each word ij, puzzle ij are English lowercase letters. And each puzzle i doesn't contain repeated characters. So I think that uh, works fine. Essentially, we just, we just, so for each puzzle, we go through each of the word to see whether the two conditions are matched. The first condition is the word should contain the first letter of the puzzle. And also the second condition is for each of the word, uh, for each of the letter within the word, the letter should also contain the puzzle. So the the character set in the puzzle should be a superset of the words, and also the first letter of the puzzle should be included in the word. So that's a pretty uh, clear estimation about the two conditions. So based on the constraints, I don't see any um, uh, any edge cases in that is worthwhile to consider. So let's uh, see how to solve this problem. So after you're done understanding the question, the next step is about for you to understand the solution, uh, sorry, to find the solution and also um, discuss with the interior about some runtime analysis, et cetera. And also uh, after that, if you get an agreement, you are okay to start doing some coding work. So let's go through the this piece of code and at the same time I'm going to explain what the solution is. So the general solution is for each of the puzzle, uh, we run a uh, recursive function to enumerate all the combinations of the letters. So each combination is represented by the bit. So let's say for A, it is uh, the first bit of the integer. For B, it is the second bit of the integer. So we are going to mark the corresponding bit as one if the letter X exists in the in the puzzle, uh, in the combination. And also for each word, we also have a bit uh, representation. So for example, for this one, it is uh, mapped to integer one because A is mapped to the first bit of the integer. And uh, it doesn't really matter whether the letter exists, uh, whether the letter appears more than once, because if it appears more than once, uh, we still just uh, set the corresponding bit as one. So let's let's see. So for this piece of code, we first define a bit frequency map. 
So the key is a bit representation of the word and the corresponding value is a frequency of this kind of uh, bit pattern appear uh, in all of the words. So we go through each of the word, we find the corresponding bit representation of the word. It's like we for each letter we just uh, move, uh, we just set the corresponding bit as one. And then we put the bit representation of the word into the map. If it already exists, then we, we are going to get the original frequency and plus one. If not exists, then we are going to set it as one. And then after that, uh, we need to initialize the counter rate to be returned finally. And then we will go through each of the puzzle. We enumerate all the combinations, uh, all the subsets of each of the puzzle. So, it, and, and after we enumerate all the combinations or subsets, then we are going to go through uh, we, we are going to go through each of the subset to see if the subset contain, is contained in the bit of frequency map. If yes, then we are going to get the frequency and on top of the counter. Otherwise, we are going to get it to zero. Uh, and uh, let's go through the code, which is enumerating all the subsets. So for the puzzle, um, there are four par parameters. Uh, uh, there are four parameters in the, in the function. So the first one is a, a puzzle string. The second one is the index. And the third one is a, like a temp integer that is store that is used to, that is used for storing uh, then the, the temp result. And the last one is the result, uh, which is uh, all the subsets we are going to finally uh, return uh, to be used in the main function. So it, so for the recursion, uh, usually we define the exit. So if the index is the length of the puzzle, which means it arrives at the end of the string, then you're going to add the time string uh, into the result. So if, it, if the index is the first one, we need to definitely include it because uh, the condition says the word should uh, contain the first letter of the puzzle. So it, otherwise, if it is not the, le the first one, then there are two options, whether to keep the corresponding letter or you just uh, drop it. So if you drop it, so we, we keep the temp as, uh, as not changed. If we, if we choose to keep it, then we need to set the corresponding bit uh, and then on, add on top of the temp. So that's essentially about this uh, helper function, which is a recursive function to enumerate all the subsets or all the combinations um, of uh, the puzzle string. So overall, the runtime would be, let's see the runtime. So for this one, let's say if there are n words and uh, each word is of the length of m, this, this part is going to be O N M. Let's see for this one. So if the so for the puzzle, because there are, so the, the length of the puzzle is fixed, which means they are at, uh, at most, because we definitely need to include the first uh, letter of the puzzle. So it leaves the rest of the combination as two to the power of six, uh, which is 64. So for each of the puzzle, uh, the subset can contain and most 64 uh, different uh, different integers. So for this one, um, I think it would be so. Like for this one, it is going to be constant because up up to 64. And this one, uh, we need to. So let's say they are. Let, let's let me put it down. So let's say n words and uh, m as average length of the word, then it is O and m. But we definitely need to consider the puzzle. So for the puzzle, uh, let's say there are, uh, let's say, and m, let's say, x uh, puzzles. And uh, each puzzle is of the lens. Okay, so the lens is fixed. So since the lens is fixed, then it is pretty much just uh, O 
and m plus x. Uh, like we have x puzzles and uh, the the like this one is going to be constant because of the fixed length of the puzzle and also this one is going to be constant as well so overall the runtime is o and n m plus x so that's it for uh this uh, coding question so have you if you had a question about the 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 solution or about anything feel free to leave some comments below so if you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.